ones. It's Tracy and Violet from Nova Scotia Living. I just had my morning coffee while I was editing yesterday's video. It's about 8.30 in the morning now. We were up at the crack of dawn, at the hour's crack of dawn. Went for a walk, had her brekkie while well, she did. Had my vinegar, had my coffee. Uh, everybody's up except for Mally. I emptied the dishwasher this morning. Just I don't have quite enough to start it again pretty soon. But um, anyways, I wanted to start a new video. Yesterday was kind of a rough day emotionally. I felt so bad for my friend and her family, her daughter, her son, her grandbaby, her brother. But today is a new day. I still feel horrible for them, but it's, it's the beginning of the road of healing for them. It never fully heals, but it's not going to fester forever. I know. That's my experience. When, that's my experience. Anyways, today is a new day. I have some cooking I need to get done. I have a truckload of hamburger I bought. I can either freeze some packs or make some stuff with it. I'll probably make something for the family and make something for my husband and I just because we're doing keto if you're new here. I'm thinking I'd make a couple of keto meatloafs and then just slice them up. Eat those for a couple of days. I'd eat them. <laughs> I think I have some spinach and whatever else I can find put in there and a whack of eggs keto meatloaf why not but my husband's just getting out of bed now he has to go get calipers or something on his car I don't know so he'll be heading off soon and yeah I'm determined to be a little more productive I am gonna help Messiah with their hair today I know a lot of you ask why don't I leave it out I have left it out before <clears throat> it requires a lot of maintenance and it is beautiful on special occasions we do but this way she struggles her hair is the most beautiful hair in the world but um, she has really long hair and it uh, well I guess I just don't know how to maintain it when it's down without it getting extremely tangled and yeah, I guess I need to learn. It's, I don't know. She likes braids. They're easy to maintain. They can last for a few days. And, uh, yeah, there's no, there's no, uh, struggle or I don't want her to feel a sense of feeling unkempt. If you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm going to do her hair today. Um, <clears throat> school tomorrow. So, yeah. It's a Sunday. It's going to be a good day. It's going to, I'm going to try to make it a good day. So I'll be back. All right, friends, it's 841. I'm going to try to throw together a couple of meatloafs. Here's two packs of extra lean ground beef. I got 50% off. 1221 and 1111. I do have more hamburger, but I'll make something for the kids. I'm going to throw some eggs, a whole whack of spices up in here. I have this taking up space in my freezer at Zoodles, but I'll cook them in the microwave first, like heat them up and squeeze out as much liquid as I can. I'm going to throw those in there. <clears throat> and I have a bunch of chopped spinach that I'm going to do the same thing. Squeeze out as much liquid. So mix it all together with hamburger. Throw some eggs in there. Probably some cheese. And that's going to be a couple of keto friendly maybe not perfect but something i will eat and of course i don't always play by the rules but i dumped this whole package in here they're just zucchini noodles for the microwave it says arrange half the pack of noodles in a single layer in a single layer safe dish like microwave safe dish cover microwave on high for three and three half three and a half minutes during once or until heated through drain season with salt and pepper to taste yeah well it's not in a single single layer it's in a bowl piled on top i'm gonna cover it and do it for five minutes and we'll see what it looks like 
those oodles are still in the microwave. There's the spinach. Do the same thing, only I don't have to cover it until it gets soft and I'll squeeze out all the liquid. Just went down in the basement. I've got a couple of jars of my mushrooms. I'm going to take them out, rinse them, and cut them up a little smaller so I can add that to the mix. And I took out a third thing of hamburger, 1094, because I'm thinking I'm not going to have enough. While I was down in the basement, I brought out my dehydrated celery. I'm going to put that into some warm water to reconstitute. It might not be all the way, but whatever juices are in the meatloaf as it cooks, it'll reconstitute that too. And this is just a tiny bit of hamburger left over from the pizza toppings. I'm going to mix that in there too so it doesn't go to waste. All right. This is the zoodles. It's been in for five minutes. It probably, well, probably, oh gosh, i got to get something to get my plate lid off. Plate lid. I'm going to strain this, and I have the spinach in the microwave now. All right, guys. Well, I need to check the spinach in the microwave. I just went upstairs and clicked upload for the video from yesterday. It's 10 after 9. So I strained those zoodles and, um, like, squished the water out as much as I could. I popped the top of my two mushroom jars, the celery is in this mug of semi-hot water. Usually I'd let something like this sit a half hour or more, but I mean, I'm just gonna throw it in because there'll be liquid in the meatloaf anyways. But I decided I'm going to do this in the food processor to chop it up good and small. It'll probably be all like sludge, but I'm just gonna mix it with that. And I have some pork rinds here. I'm gonna put those in here after to make it like breadcrumbs. This is just a made up recipe, I'm not following any book. When I first started Keto, I bought a Keto Connect. They have a YouTube channel, a Keto Connect book, and it was nice, but I I should have known better. I'm just not one to follow recipes unless it's one that tickles my fancy. And like baking ones, I follow those recipes more often than things like this. Um, so I just do what works for me. Um, I ended up giving that book away, I think, to my friend Tara who then gave it away after she used it to somebody else or something. I don't know. Anyways, I don't follow recipes most of the time. I get inspiration from recipes, usually four or five recipes, and then make one recipe for myself with little bits of all the different recipes that I see. I don't know where this is coming from, but I'm going to use it up. So I'm going to demolish this, and then I'm going to do the same to the spinach. It's already chopped spinach. So we'll see, we'll see what it's like after, but anyways, oh, this is the before. Chunks of mushroom and stuff. I rinse my mushrooms after um, I take them out of the jar. And they're just like canned mushrooms from a store. Like, they really, texture, flavor, all of that. So I'll be back. All right, there we have it. Didn't go to complete sludge. I'll get you off so you can get a better look. See, I might not have gotten all of it, but it's it's cut up small and that'll be mixed with that and everything else and yeah but I'm gonna get this out because uh, I got some more stuff to choppy choppy oh you know what time it is I just rotated the laundry got some towels to hang up then I'll take that spinach out of the microwave I just want you to see Cute. Best pals. Alright, I've had these pork rinds for, God, I don't know how long. Over a year. And, yeah, I can't imagine them going bad. I'm not a fan of eating pork rinds, just pork rinds. I know a lot of people are as a replacement for chips, but if I have it mixed into something, I will. I'm just going to do one of these containers full and chop them up, and I'll add it to it. All right, there you have it. From that to this. 
All right, friends. Well, I have everything. I think I have everything. I don't know if I have everything, but there is all the vegetables, the mushrooms, the zucchini noodles, the spinach, and the celery. I just dumped it in here, so I'll just mix this around so it's all try to make it evenly incorporated so when I add the meat there's not big chunks of spinach or mushroom or whatever. I could add this too to be honest. I got the dishwasher going. And I got the washing machine going. So, I got some fires going. I'm going, so there you have it. All right, now to get down, down and dirty. This is some Gouda cheese I grated up yesterday. Um, so hopefully it's gonna be Gouda. I know, I'm a cornball. But I find, sometimes when I make meatloaf, I just make it into a football, you know, on a, cookie sheet. I'm going to actually do it in the bread pans and cook it most of the way and then take it out and flip it onto like a broiler pan for it to brown all around the sides and it looks like a loaf instead of a football. And that's what I'm going to try. I've done it before. I just haven't done it in a long time. But we'll see how it goes. There's one. Good morning. I'm making keto meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Did you use all that spinach? I didn't use any of the stuff in the fridge. This is frozen spinach. I know you like your spinach, so I didn't use that, that kind. <clears throat> I'm going to try to mix this up before I put that third one in. Just break it up a bit. What are you making? Spinach? Oh. Yeah, there's a little bit of fresh spinach in the fridge, but Mally likes to just cook that up and eat it. Do you put anything on it? Vinegar. Vinegar. And vinegar. Apple cider? Regular white vinegar. Yes. Okay, okay. To each their own. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, I'm going to have to stand up to do this. So I put spinach and zucchini noodles and mushrooms and pork rinds in this mainly. And I'm going to add a bunch of spices. Oh, can you open that whipped topping container? Just, there's a little bit of cooked hamburger in there. Mushrooms, I'm just going to... And that way I can wash that container. Just to use it up. Oh, this is looking good. Looking good, guys. Ooh. one more. I'll get three loaves out of this maybe. I'll eat two, not in one day, and I'll freeze two. If I can get four. <coughs> I, can. I think I can. I think I can. And I could actually, which I'm not going to, is like make little <coughs> cupcake meatloafs in the cupcake tin. That's good too. I've done that before. Oh, can you get the Parmesan cheese out of the fridge? If you don't want to, you don't have to. I just want to throw a whack of that in here. It's that yellow can, no name one. Um, well, down there behind the flour in the cupboard, there's a craft Parmesan one. Just be careful of that door behind the flour container. That's a new one from Costco. Well, new as in it hasn't been used. We 
week I've had it, I don't know, a while ago. I was just using up what we had first. Uh, spinach. Take this glove off for a second. Thank you. What? I know. I just. So this is Kraft 100% Parmesan. It's a lot, but there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm putting some cayenne pepper. Spicy. I like the. I like the heat. If you can't take the heat, take your arse out of the kitchen, right? Some garlic powder. I don't bother with the sprinkle side. I, I have it open. Seems like a lot because it is, but it's a big old bowl of stuff. Gotta have some turmeric in there. Turn it yellow. If you got turmeric, you gotta have some pepper. Did you really turn the floor yellow one time? Yeah, the turmeric. Took forever for the stand. Oh, is there another pepper? Oh, over. I'll get it. It's over there beside the pony chaucheries. Is there any in that? Ooh, there we go. Um, some Larry's. That comes out fast, anyways. I already put some of that in there. I should throw a little bit of this cheese up in it. Yeah. Is that garlic? No, this is Gouda. I've never had a Gouda. We've had it. I just, I can't, I don't know the differences between the cheese. I know what feta cheese is like. And... Take the bag. sugar added ketchup and I need some yellow mustard it's like cheddar cheese yeah I think it's like I think it's melty I think just some mustard and some no sugar added <clears throat> can I grease the pan sweeten with stevia ketchup yes you can spray the heck out of the the heck. The high heck out of it. Ooh! Oh, for crying out loud. It's okay if that's what's right. Yeah, that's just cheese. No, like Yeah. The amount of oil that's on the bottom. Yes, just make sure you get the sides and everything. I did. Uh. Oh, and I gotta add eggs. Can't well, forget about like that. Jumbo. <laughs> it does look like a compost bowl, doesn't it? <laughs> it? Looks like a big old mess. Misha, can you go tell Dad what time it is? It's 9:37. He was supposed to be down there between 9 and 10. He hasn't even showed his pretty little face yet. I'll take this off for now. Mally's just greasing the pans for me. I don't know if I'll need all for it. That's probably, I have that other spray thing there, if need be. I'm gonna add probably six eggs. Seven. Seven? Should I do seven? Do seven. Okay, I'll do seven. <clears throat> Woo! <laughs> it is keto. I just gotta get <laughs> out of that, but that's what happens. It's just a bunch of keto compounds. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Not in a bad way. Five. Six. 
Seven. We'll see how that is. Good and slimy. Slimy. That whole thing can go right in the compost. Alright. I'll get you off so you can get a good look at this. <laughs> it does look like a big compost bowl. Look at that. Yeah, big old sloppy mess, but I'm going to mix it all together and get it in these pans, and yeah, we'll be good. We'll be good, Violet. There's some in the dishwasher, or get a measuring cup. It's the dishwasher or... It is. But you can open it very carefully, get a bowl, put it back, shut it, and then press start again. It will just take off where you stopped. Well, it's partially cleaned. You just need to rinse it out good. Did you tell Dad? Yeah. He said it's kind of hard to call the little. Do I press start now? Yes. Until it stops there. Perfect. Should we have a food fight with this gunk? Will you clean up the mess if we do? No. Yeah. Yeah. There is meat in this. Okay. Violet has her pink poodle here. Don't leave your toys out here in the kitchen. Okay, Violet has Misha's pink poodle. But Violet has kind of taken that over. It's mine. Violet still for me. Okay. Now the dishwasher's draining. The dishwasher is what? Do you guys like meatloaf? The girls are there. I'd set you up better so you can see them, but Molly and Misha. What's Maze and Zai doing? Maze is up there. Okay. Does it smell good, Violet? You want some spinach? Spinach? Mally, throw a little more cayenne up in here. Eat it, Oh, she wouldn't need it. Oh, um, cayenne, yeah. I need to make sure this is. That's good. I want it spicy, spicy. Mom, oh, gosh. So those are greased. <clears throat> Get you off too so you can see it when it's all mixed together. Oh, my gloves are just... Ow! What? You should just trip me. Oh. No, I didn't. My well, if it, she did, it was an accident. I was just trying to try, tie her boot. Alright, I'll get you off so you see this. <clears throat> oh, I have a tickle. Want to pull my gloves off, Mally? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Violet doesn't mind. Violet would, I'm sure she would. Hello, Violet. Why are you so cute? Uh. See, look at Violet. Is that your poodle? No. Is that your poodle? <laughs> All right, there it is. So we'll sit down and get them into loaf pans and I'm going to preheat the oven for 350 and we'll just cook them and cook them and cook them until they're done. If there's grease, I'm going to dump the grease off and cook them some more.
too, but that's okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. Put it into some good greased loaf pans. <clears throat> I won't fill them up all the way because I want to make sure I have enough for the pans that I have. Because this will shrink a little bit. It's extra lean ground hamburger, but it'll still shrink some. So I would like to get them like rounded, but we'll see. We'll see, Mish. Should have put some liquid smoke in this too, but oh well. Oh well. Maybe I'll put some in the sauce that I glaze on top. I'm just gonna mix some of that ketchup and mustard together. You know, usually you use that in barbecue sauce or whatever. Okay, well, I can't help you right now. No, I can't. You want hamburger all over your boots? No. Well. Get it. Yeah. Just enough. higher than the others, but that's all right. It'll all come out in the wash. So that's great. That's great. I'll throw a little bit of this. so you can see. Ta-da! That looks nice, huh? I might use, well, yeah, I'll probably do that. Use the back of the spoon to try to make it even smoother. Not that it really matters. I'm not a perfectionist. But if I want to make it like a loaf after... sneeze just a minute yeah I didn't sneeze on my meatloafs just get it down and I hope to heck this is good I'll eat it anyways you know I will I'm not that fussy I'm more fussy about textures than tastes and as long as it tastes okay, and the texture is not too bad, I'm going to eat it. But I think it should be alright. There. So that's facing me. Alright, look. Some of you want to see Zai's hair down? Mm -hmm. Turn around for a sec. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. But yeah, she just drew a picture. Yeah. It's bloody because, um, what? you know, you know, nah. Yeah. Yeah, the screw went near that little bar. Like this one. Okay. And I took the clutter and put her in the storage tank. It, it's like a horror game. It's not really scary to me, though. No. Okay, I'll do your hair in a bit.
All right, this is the sauce I'm going to mix together. There's some stevia, the black pepper, yellow mustard, some of that ketchup, some onion, garlic powder, smoked Spanish paprika, some turmeric, and a few dashes of this natural liquid smoke. I didn't even look. Oh, there's, yeah, okay. There's two grams of carbohydrates per one tablespoon, but I didn't even use one tablespoon, so we're good. There it is, all mixed together. It's very orange, but it's that turmeric in there that does that. So I'm just gonna put a thin layer on top now when I put it in the oven, and we're gonna use the rest of it too later on. All right, those are in the oven. I'm just gonna sit down and have some nice cold water and relax a minute. My husband did get up and he's gone now. And uh, yeah, I'll figure out what we'll do for lunch. It's 10, 15 in the morning still, so I still got time, that time. Heavy just got here. I have my water. Half hour left on those uh, meatloafs and then I'm gonna rotate the pans, but I got more towels to hang up, of course. Right, I just rotated those pans. There's a little grease, not much. I'll dump off whatever's on there after, but I rotated them around so they're not in the same spot. Put them in for another 45. I'm gonna wash Sia's hair now. And uh, yeah, anyways, that's what's going on. All right, Sia's hair's all done. She smells like a coconut, but it looks pretty, pretty. It's still a little greasy, but it's just the stuff will soak in and moisturize. And... Violet! Right, I just took these out of the oven. Just enough time for me to do Zaya's hair. There is grease in there. I am going to dump it out, and I'm going to put these on a broiler pan. These are done now, but I want to flip them out and make sure they're coated from top to tail. So I'll bring you back when I get it on the pan. didn't actually strain it, I just lifted the things out. I will clean these out and they will go in the dishwasher the next round. But here they are, they're very yellowish, but that's the turmeric. There's a little casualty there of the juices, but there they are. Now, I had to be very gentle because you don't want them, that one already was kind of cracked. But I'm just gonna glaze these with some of that sauce that I made and stick them back in the oven, not very long, just for it to get a little tacky. And then that'll be that. Oh, Violet just licked that up. Was that good? <laughs> so I'm just putting blobs on, try to make it even. And I'll do the top and just do whatever I can around the sides. All right, that's as good as I can do it. Got all the sides as best as I could. And yeah, I'll put this pan in and then after I'll do that one. I can't really squish them all in. So yeah, then they'll be done. Well, I'm just using up the last of the pizza. Zaya's having some pizza. Evie's having a jam Sam. Misha, on the other hand, didn't want pizza. Didn't want a sandwich. Wanted some steak that Mary Keese had fried up this morning. So that's what she's having right now. All right, guys, I can't remember if I even showed you when I took it out. It's only 107, but there's the last one I just took out. They were only in there another 15, 20 minutes, just so the sauce isn't too saucy. It kind of, not firmed up, but you know. Oh, it did. It smells really good. I can smell the spice in it, which is fantastic. Um, the kids might want to have some of this. We might end up not freezing any of this. I don't know. But I'm going to start working on something for supper. The dishwasher's going. My husband called. Here, I'll turn you around. <sighs> yeah, my husband called. He's on his way home now. He's like, do you need anything from town? I said, no. I can't think of any. Well, we need milk. There's only a little bit of milk left. And, um, yeah, I don't know, but I have, I see, I have three more packs of hamburger out there, so I can make a chili, I can make hamburgers, I can make goulash, I can make, I don't know, 
I don't know, but I want to start cooking some of that. So I might just scramble up the whack of it and um, use it the next couple of days. Let me think on that. Oh, I don't know what caught and what didn't. It shut off, but anyways, I put two packages of hamburger in here. That one I'm going to make hamburger patties. And we'll figure out what to do with it eventually. I'm just going to dig out the spices that I want to use, the staples, onion, garlic powder, salt and pepper. Where is it? Right in front of my friggin' face is where it is. So, yeah, these were two, I don't know if it caught, like, I went to wash my hands, I came back, the phone was off. But, these two were 50% off, that one was not, um, but it's due today, so I'm going to just cook it up, and we'll figure out what we'll do for supper. Scrambled hamburger, you could do so many things with, so. We good. I'm thinking I'll make a chili as long as I still have, I forget if I have canned beans down in the basement once I've canned. I forget. If not, I need to get on that because those always come in handy. <laughs> Evie's just about to sleep out there on the Chesterfield, I think, on the, on the couch. The dishwasher's going. My husband should be home. I want to make a coffee. I had one this morning, but I want to make another coffee. Then I don't want him to show up here with the Tim Hortons coffee. <laughs> so, what Dad used to do when he made hamburger, he'd put the whole thing in there and just flatten it and just break it up with the spatula, like one giant hamburger patty. That works too. <laughs> Must be something. Smoking. Something smoking. I started to watch 28 Days Later, the movie. I've seen it umpteen times. What is freaking smoking? It's uh, not a kid's movie. Like, a zombie movie. Love my zombie movies. Anyways, I haven't watched it in a few years. And I just sat down when I was on my break. Started watching it again. It's a top movie for me if you've never seen it, but you gotta like that kind of genre. And there's a sequel to it 28 months later or something. It's not as good as the first one. And the guy in that is Begbie from Train Spotting. You know who I mean? You know Train Spotting. You know who Begbie is. I mean, it was okay, but I just, the first one's better. I usually, for hamburgers, I would do it in the grill, but not today. Oh, I should try and call my husband. He could get hamburger patties, or hamburger buns. Because I'm not making any today. I still have time to do that. That's what we'll do. And I'll use that scrambled hamburger for something tomorrow. But at least it will be cooked. Oh, I don't know if I can get it all in there. I'll have one big fat one after. I can't really squeeze it in there right now. I could just drop it in there, but... There you go. But... There you go. There. Hello. Yeah, they're spicy. You mm -hmm. want to say hi to these guys? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm going to make, but I'll make hamburgers for supper. But you can try the meat oak if you want. There's lots of cayenne in it. You want? Well, it depends on your taste.
So I'm just going to season this, like I said, with my staples. Salt and pepper, onion and garlic powder. How was it? Today it's what? What's the sauce on it? It's ketchup, mustard, like the stevia ketchup, mustard, Spanish smoked paprika, Spanish. liquid, liquid smoke. Can you follow the recipe? No, I just made it up. I just make stuff up. So. Does it taste spicy? Or? Yeah. No. Did you try some? No. Oh, that's what I'm going to have tonight for supper. Mm -hmm. and cut off a couple slices. Huh. Just like a full pull. It tastes like regular meat, no? Does it? I don't know. Well, like the zucchini and the spinach and the mushrooms, I did them in the food processor small. You know what I mean? And pork rinds. There's pork rinds in there, too. I don't know about the outside sauce, but... Yeah. I was just making stuff up. Oh, I suppose I could turn this on. So I'll be back in a bit. I'm just going to do this and I'll be back. Oh, yeah, Medea had a little bit. She was like, it isn't spicy. And then she took another bite and it was really spicy. <laughs> so I don't know how well I mixed all the spices, but she seemed to like it. She was like, it tastes just like real meatloaf. Like you can't tell all that stuff's in there, but yeah, I'm going to have some tonight. All right, it's 150. No, no. that's that's enough. That's no, enough. It isn't. I didn't have um, 150. This is done. Yeah, I'm going to strain it. These girls are fighting and getting on my nerves. These are done. I'm going to take them out and then I'm going to do this lowly hamburger. Hey, okay, look how much of one of the loaves is gone already. Medea had some and Mally had some. And that's Mally's second piece. She really likes it. But it's a little spicy, spicy. <laughs> Just has a blob of ketchup, and so that evens it out. But she says it's not dry or anything. It's, it's just right. She really likes it. So, yeah. Anyways, not too bad. Backing this up. Mally's working on her third piece. <laughs> She's putting herself, her tongue through torture with that spice. Oh, careful. Don't, don't rest them too hard on her. But I put two of them in here, just put foil on the bottom. They're cool enough. I don't know if I'm going to freeze them right away. We'll see how much gets eaten today. If not, it might all be eaten up in the next couple of days. Oh, yeah. That loaf is almost gone, and then there's one over there. So, yeah. Oh, my husband just got back, and we got Tim's. This one is mine. Oh, yeah, he loves me. Uh, Misha's just gone out to the car to pick up or bring in whatever groceries he got. So I just cleared off the table. Well, she's coming, Violet. She's coming. All right, friends. The groceries that my husband got, he stopped at Superstore and he got four things of sausage. It's not the double, like not the big pack. So um, it's just a single single layer. But regular 572, 50%, 579, 576. 5.72. So usually when I buy sausages, they're like the big packs like that. But this works too. He got some hamburger buns. Well, I've got ha 10 hamburger patties, so we got 12 buns. And he bought some hot dog buns. We must have hot dogs here. I don't know, but there must have been a sale of some sort. Oh, and he got these Vlasic pickles. He's having some meatloaf right now and some pickles. So yeah, that first loaf and a bit of the second loaf. already gone so yeah I'm I'll be surprised if I end up freezing any of it but that's okay that's what it's there for to be eaten do you got clean clothes upstairs Misha Lee anyways the dishwasher's done I just opened it because it's scorching hot that scrambled hamburger is straining in the sink into a dish or whatever the hamburgers are sitting in the microwave for now and I'm gonna have my coffee so bottoms up all right, guys. Well, I have this video edited all up until now. You got my Violet? She's sitting under. She's sleeping under the computer desk. No, I wasn't drinking wine. I had one of my fancy waters. 
Um, yeah, so it's all edited up until now, so that's good. It's about 10 to 4. Just a minute. Evie, uh, Maze is hollering to me. Oh, all right, guys. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. I had to move. Oh, for flying F sakes. The gas light's ah. on. Just a minute. All right, we went on a mad hunt for my husband's wallet. Couldn't find it, but we finally friggin' found it. Oh, gosh. I'm coasting on fumes. I'm at the gas station now. There's just a lady in front of me. And my windshield wipers were frozen, so they wouldn't clear off the little bit of snow that was there. So I just unstuck them while I'm waiting for my turn. And then we're going to go drop Mr. Man off. And then come back and doll out some supper. He already had some snacks and stuff. Um, yeah, so. Anyways, that's the plan. Well, good morning, friends. It's the next day. My phone completely died when I was uh, on my way back from dropping Evie off last night. And I took... I plugged it in when I got home, but I fell asleep. <laughs> so, I'm going to end this video now <laughs> so I can start a new one. It's 6.30 in the morning. Violet just had her breakfast. Did you eat all your brekkie? Um, I just made my coffee. I can feel a sneeze coming on. But, uh, oh, it's, oh, it's cold. It's really cold outside. Really, really cold. I don't know what the temperature is, but it feels really cold. But, um, yeah, we had a good day. I'm going to do something with that scrambled hamburger today. There's no more hamburger patties. They... When I, after I got home from dropping Evie off, they had some hamburgers and carrot sticks and some celery. That's what they had. And then I had that whole frying pan of scrambled hamburger. I left it right in the pan, put a cover on it, and put it out in the porch because it's almost as cold out there as it is outside. So it's fine. But, um, yeah, so I don't know. I'll make something with that today. I probably have enough there for two meals, so that's what I'll probably try to do. But that'll be in tomorrow's video by the time you see it. So, all right, Tracy, stop talking. So I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay, too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, yeah, it's 6.30. I have enough time to have a snort off my coffee and just take a minute to myself well my coffee and with Violet and uh, before the rat race starts so with that I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning and I'll see you tomorrow bye boink